the smallest but the mightiest large language model ever. Introducing Microsoft's new large language model, Phi 2. Phi 2 is Microsoft's smallest language model and it's something that you can access with Microsoft Azure right now. Now with new benchmarks from the company, it shows that it beats Google's Gemini Nano model as well as Mistral's 7 billion parameter model. Just today, they announced this 2.7 billion parameter language model that demonstrates outstanding reasoning as well as language understanding capabilities. And it showcases that it's the state of the art performance is able to be based and compared amongst different types of large language models with less than 13 billion parameters. On complex benchmarks, Phi 2 is able to match or outperform models up to 25 times larger. Thanks to this new innovation, in model scaling as well as in training data curation, we're able to see the performance of its efficiency as well as its effectiveness. For example, let's take a look at the test that was conducted on Phi 2, similar to the one that was performed on Gemini. Both of these models were presented with the student's incorrect answer, which is something that you can see over here. And the goal of this is to basically assess whether the models are able to pinpoint the error. And we can see in this case, it's able to successfully identify the mistake with Phi 2, even though it was not specifically fine to for a task that was related to conversations or following such instructions. Now, one thing that I want to keep in mind is that on their blog post, they had actually stated and they wanted to acknowledge that the comparison between Phi 2 and Gemini might not be entirely fair. And the context basically differs because of the test that Gemini was given. And that test was where the student's answer was provided as an image with handwritten text. While this test that was conducted with Phi 2 was a response that was presented in raw text only. This distinction will definitely vary in terms of the answer that is given from the model. So just keep that in mind. And it just shows that it might have not been the best uh, example to share but it's just showcasing that Phi 2 was able to specifically answer such a question even though it wasn't actually fine-tuned for tasks that is related for this conversation but in general it showcases that this small parameter size model is able to do so much and the development that it took was very effective and it shows that it's an efficient model that anyone can use even on a mobile so this is something that we're going to uncover throughout today's video as we explore and uncover the capabilities of Phi 2. This is a new model from Microsoft, so it's definitely backed by a great institution and it shows very, very amazing, like uh, remarkable features, which is something that we can definitely take a look at as we go further on to the video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Phi 2, which is Microsoft's new language model, which is actually the smallest language model that's out there. Now, the team behind this is the Machine Learning Foundation, and they recently introduced a series of small language models. And firstly, they started off with the Phi 1 model, and they eventually gradually uh, evolved it to the 1.5 model, which is a 1.3 billion parameter model. And it was something that was quite impressive in terms of its performance in common sense, as well as in language understanding. It's something that is comparable to models five times its size. And now we see that they have released this new model, which is Phi 2, which is a 2.7 billion parameter large language model. It showcases outstanding reasoning and language understanding capabilities. Phi 2 performs exceptionally well on complex benchmarks, matching or even outperforming models up to 25 times larger. This success is something that was attributed to its innovation in model scaling, as well as, as, well as in training data curation. The researchers behind Phi 2 
who are actually exploring whether they can achieve advanced language model abilities on a smaller scale. And this was behind the process of developing such a model. And this was when they were actually releasing their earlier models. They were looking at making strategic choices during the training process where they wanted to select specific data to make it so that it can replicate a larger model. Now, the five models, particularly the second one, aim to match the performance of much larger models. And this was through two strategic processes or approaches, you can say. The first one was quality training data. This basically meant that the quality of the training data is crucial for model performance. And what they've done is that the team focused on using textbook quality. And that's basically emphasizing for common sense reasoning and general knowledge. They created synthetic data sets and they selected web data based on educational value and content quality for making sure that the quality they used in the training data was the best of the best. Secondly, they worked on innovative scaling techniques. And this is where the team used innovative techniques to scale up their Phi2 model from their 1.3 billion parameter model from their its original model actually, which is the Phi 1.5. Now they transferred the knowledge from that model to the new one and this was by accelerating training and significantly boosting the benchmark scores from this whole innovative scaling technique. And we can see this in this comparison image from comparing the 5 1.5 model to the 5 2 model. It illustrates the performance on various other benchmarks, the scale from 1.3 billion parameters all the way to the new 2.7. It shows that the performance was able to increase as well as the effectiveness of different types of categories from reasoning to language understanding as well as math and coding. We can see that the Phi 2 model is able to outperform on every single benchmark in comparison to Phi's 1.5 model. We saw how remarkable this Phi 2 model is, but how was it actually trained? This is by taking a look at the training details. Firstly, I want to emphasize that this is a transformer based model with a next word prediction objective. It basically underwent training on 1.4 trillion tokens and it basically encompasses multiple passes on a mix synthetic as well as a web data set for natural language processing. It also focuses on coding tasks so you get the best of all different types of categories. The training process for Phi2 spanned between 14 days and it was utilizing 96 A100 GPUs. Now this Phi2 model is considered a base model and it did not actually undergone any sort of alignment through reinforcement learning from human feedback or any sort of instructive fine tuning. That leads me to this figure over here where they are taking a look at the safety scores computed on 13 demographics from Toxygen. It's a subset of 6,541 sentences and they're all selected and scored between 0 to 1 based on scaled perplexity and sentence toxicity. A higher score basically indicates that the model is less likely to produce a toxic sentence compared to the benign ones. But basically it shows that even though it did not undergo some sort of advanced training technique, we can see that this model was able to exhibit improved behavior regarding the toxici toxicity, toxicity, that's how you pronounce it hopefully, and the bias where it's compared to existing open source models that underwent this alignment. But it's something that you can see in this example where over here, where this aligns to the observed behavior from in comparison to 5.1.5 to basically the newer model. And it shows that the attributed data that is tailored to the curation technique. And this is something that showcases the comparison to different types of demographics. Now comes the juicy part where we take a look at the evaluation. This is where we're taking a look at the performance of where it evaluated across different types of benchmarks. This includes different types of tasks related to reasoning, understanding, mathematics, as well as coding. Despite only having 2.7 billion parameters, we're able to see that it's able to compare and outperform larger models like Mistral, as well as Llama 2, which has 7 billion and 13 billion parameters, respectively, on various different types of benchmarks. We can see that this Phi 2 model is able to excel quite well in comparison to other models such as Llama's 2's 70 billion base model. It's 20 times even better. 
And this is something that revolves in different types of tasks involving multiple steps, such as coding or even mathematics. It's also something that matched or even outperformed the recent introduction of Google's Gemini Nano 2 model. And this is something with such a smaller size in comparison to all of these other larger model sizes. Let's actually take a look at this example over here where Phi2 is able to output a generation on a simple physics problem. And this is something that is involving multiple steps within mathematics. This is something that is not basically like appropriate for a smaller model to generate as smaller models do not have the data set to generate such things of like such a problem like this but basically we can see that it's able to approximately give the correct square root calculation and it gives the right steps to do so this is something that is quite impressive for such a model with a very small parameter size such as 2.7 this is quite impressive we're seeing this trend and i continuously keep on talking about this as we're seeing new approaches and techniques to fine tune as well as develop such models with smaller parameter sizes this is because Coming way more efficient and way more effective as time goes on researchers are getting smarter and they're getting better at developing such products and such tools but basically you can actually access this currently on microsoft azure so if you're interested i'll leave this link in the description below so that you can get started and start playing around with this new phi2 model but that basically concludes today's video on phi2 this is a very small model, but very mighty. Definitely take a look at all the links in the description below uh, as to what links we actually used in today's video. But if you guys would like to access our private Discord, you can definitely do so by taking a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video and turn on notification bells. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I definitely recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.